Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. You guys may face this issue that you are not getting into the grub menu. That is the page I help you to choose which operating system you want to boot up even after successfully completing the installation. Here I had already installed KDE Neon which is a Linux version beside Windows 10 pre-installed on my laptop. Now you need to restart your computer now follow my steps press F2 key to boot up your BIOS menu and go to the um, if it's not working if the BIOS menu is not coming up even after you pressing the F2 key uh, I have the Acer Aspire ES15 uh, mostly all laptops have the same key F2. If it's not working, try Google for help by using your model name. Now follow my steps. Go to the security tab and here you can set the supervisor password. Press the enter key and set any password. Make sure that you don't forget this password. I'm simply entering the password and press enter. Now the changes have been saved. Why I set this password is because you can see that I can't go to these tabs because it is all disabled. You can see the color difference gray here. I'm setting the password again. Now you can go here. After that, you need to go to this tab. Select an UEFI file as trusted for executing. Press the Enter key. Now I have only one hard disk, and it is named as HDD0. Press Enter here and Enter again. I had installed the Neon version, so I chose Neon and SHIMX64 you can choose this one here you can add any description like I am adding like here and press the enter now you need to save these settings by in the exit tab exit saving changes or simply you can press the F10 by looking here this save and exit here F10. Now it's uh, you need to again go to the BIOS menu by pressing the F2 button and you need to go now in the boot menu. In the boot menu you can see the custom level we type in there like you need to bring up this to the first. Mostly in most laptop you can use the plus or minus button in my laptop it is f5 and f6 change values i press this f6 button to bring this to up because it is the brute priority priority order so first one will boot this one then only the windows after that again press the f10 save and exit save and exit for the system to boot up you can see yeah you can press the enter or it automatically boot up after completing this thanks for watching if any issues again please put it in the comment box below